Yo, 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 yo. Get up in here. Delete TV. What you say? Delete TV. Y'all already know, man. Every time I'm in here, I always try to bring y'all a very, 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 very special guest, man. Today we got a player that I've saw play for the past, I say six years. Elevated his game each and every year. One of the most talked about players in the country. One of the most hated. No other than Kyrie Walker, man. What's going on, family? What's going on? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing really good. All right, fam, man. It's Kyrie Walker in the building, man. We got to do a round of applause for Kyrie Walker, man. <laughs> we got to do a round of applause for Kyrie Walker, man. As you can see, I see you posting on Instagram the other day. Water, man. Water is very important. You say you try to drink a gallon a day? Yeah, I do. Tell the youngsters out there, man, how important water is, man. Um, it's really important. It helps you hydrate faster than you know, usual. Um, ever since I ever since I started taking my my nutrition really, really serious, I lost a lot of weight. I grew and I know my game went to a whole different level. So I feel like the nutrition part was the biggest thing that I changed. Now nutrition, man, that's something I'm I'm just now starting to take serious. Talk about your nutrition now versus back playing AAU days where you can eat McDonald's, Burger King, whatever the hell you wanted versus now? Um, Honestly, I was, I was eating like, you know what I mean, eating like, I lived up when I moved from, uh, from when I moved from Atlanta to uh, Cali, I was eating a whole bunch of other stuff. I was just not really taking it super serious and um, it didn't hurt, but I was still playing, you know, playing great, you know, playing fast, but there's a whole nother level. I felt like I could play way better if I took my nutrition really, really serious. Yeah, man. Nutrition is a very intricate part of being successful on and off the court, man. Health is very serious. Uh, last year with the pandemic, man, it was a very stressful time. Uh, also, Kobe Bryant passed away. It was very rough last year for a lot of people. How, how was last year, 2020, for Kyrie Walker? Um... It was hard, you know. There's you no know, the pandemic hurt some of my decisions to you know do other things, but you know, I choose a decision. You know, I just ran with it and just just wanted to make it work. And you know, that's what I'm trying to do right now. For some reason, man, a lot of people think that Kyrie Walker is not working, but I keep up with you on IG and I see that every day you in the gym. You on the, them stairs. I don't know where them stairs at, but that look like that's like <laughs> a thousand stairs. Them some real serious stairs. And I see you putting in work. I see you in the gym grinding. But for some reason, people always have something to say about is Kyrie Walker working? What is he doing? What is he doing next? Tell the people what Kyrie Walker has been up to. I'm, I'm working out every day just because it's not on social media like they wanted to be. They, you know, they think, oh, he's not in the gym or he's not working. I think that's the biggest thing. A lot of things got to be on social media for people to know, like, oh, this guy's in the gym. This guy's working out. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, when, you, when you're not on social media, people just think you don't hoop no more. People don't think you, you don't do anything. So, you know, just because I'm not on social media like that doesn't mean I'm not working. It's just I don't want y'all to see what I do. So now we're rolling, and I just I know I got four or five months left of this. Um, I feel like, you know what, well, I'll, I'll let y'all show what I've been working on, little snippets of it, but, you know, once that real time comes, you're going to be like, all right, now nah, I see why he wasn't on Instagram or stuff like that. Makes sense now. So today, what's your relationship like with social media? Because obviously social media is an intricate part of what built Kyrie Walker up. But then also, there's so many people out there that put rumors out there on Twitter talking about Kyrie Walker was in a crash. Like, I don't know where people come up with this stuff at, this negative stuff. But it also, it has some type of positive because it helped, obviously, build your name up. What's your relationship like with the internet today? Um, Right now, I'm not messing with the internet. Internet, I let me not play my senior year, just, you know, focus on myself. 
and, you know, internet bashed me the whole my whole senior year. Really can't say nothing. I ain't want to say nothing. It wasn't. I went from a five star to whatever they put me at, and you no know, people took it out like, oh, he fell off. Yeah, just because I didn't play for my for my reasons only. A lot of people look past that. They look past of, of my of, of what's happened in my actual life. I'm human just like they are. Just because I got some stars near my name doesn't mean that I go through actual problems. And you know that got you know it got hurt somebody, you no know, play hurt somebody a game, and I was just focused on or focused on me, man. You no know, truth be told, I was going to graduate. I graduated early. I was going to play, but before the pandemic, I was going to graduate early. And uh, I was gonna start college in January, so if if the pandemic didn't happen, I would have been in a league as of right now, because I, I played college basketball and I feel like I would have done great actually, and you know, and flaws and you no, know, do what I had to do. Now, I definitely want to get more into that, but let's get back to the to the beginning of Kyrie Walker. Where where were you born? A lot of people think you were born in California, but where were you actually born, at Kyrie? I'm born in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? All my boys know. If you if they know, you know I'm born a you know Atlanta race. You know what I mean? You know, just because I take it kinda of like disrespect, you know what I mean? I like I don't have a problem with being California, but Atlanta we got a lot of dogs and they we got a I'm part of, I'm one of them. You know, I wanna be part of that. So all, all my boys know, you know, you just started we play football together against each other, you know, rec ball, all that. So they, they know. So what age did you move to Cali? Um, I moved, I moved seven good year. So I started playing with the Oakland Soldiers, and you know, back then we had to, you know, the states had to connect, you know, and Atlanta they don't touch California, no, not even close. So we, you know, we had to make that move, and you know, for you know, for basketball, and we made it. You know, it, you know from there it was just from me being a regular guy, people know around couple places in Memphis all that from being a top guy to you know in, in the country so what would you say is the difference between Atlanta and California uh, way they play way more harder more more, more grimier I ain't gonna lie I play California basketball some they soft I don't lie to you they, they kind of soft but playing you know playing in Atlanta or you playing a team from the East Coast is a huge difference. More grimy. That's what I like, though. You want grimy teams. You don't want to be nobody. Teams that scared of you play. You know what I mean? So we just want somebody that be like, oh, we don't care how many stars you got around your name. So they're going to go at you. No, I'm not saying what all West Coast kids are soft, but I'm just saying, like, there's been times when I got out here, I'll be like, damn. You know what I mean? They're not. It's it's kind of it's a little bit easier, though, I would say. Game, game is easier. Yeah, and when you go back east, it's going to be a lot more people clapping up in your face and your face coming at Kyrie Walker, whereas on the West Coast, it's a lot of people who may be intimidated by who Kyrie Walker is, but on the East Coast, you're getting that, you're getting that smoke no matter who you is and people coming at your neck. I definitely know what you're talking about right there. Oakland Soldier days. Those were the days, weren't they? I mean, man, talk about all the players on that team. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how loaded that team was, bro. Yeah, it was me, Josh Christopher, Shamar. Jalen Green, um, Kendall Mudson, Devin Askew, um, Zion yeah. Harmon for a few games. Oh, Zion. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, they didn't know what to do. Oh, would they, you say, would you say that looking at that now, that's one of the best AAU teams ever put on paper? Would you say that? Paper, oh, for sure, 100%. On, on paper, when you look at this on paper, you be like, okay, this team is a problem. 100%. You have me playing the one, you got Zion playing the two, you have Shamar playing the three, you had our four, I can't remember our four, who our four was. And my, no, my fault. Change that. Zion was playing the one, Shamar was playing the two, I was playing, Josh was playing the three, I was playing the four. Because I remember that because we had all five, we had four guards that everybody was getting mad. We was was beating the press. I would pass the ball, I'll kick it out, we're throwing straight to the middle, we'll you know, have a dunk fest and have fun. So 
I remember now. We, we it was a it was a bad team. I can't lie to you. Now, one of the biggest matchups back then was you guys versus We All Can Go. Oh man, talk about the memories of that game because that was probably, if not the most hyped game in AAU basketball history, it was one of the most talked about. So, let's talk about what you remember about going up against those guys. I've been playing We All Can Go since I played with the Memphis War Eagles with Kendall Lee Chandler. Um, man, I remember playing them the first time I ever played them. I remember my coach was like, man, these boys don't play no games. I was like, you know what? Let's see. They come out shooting crazy. I'm like, man, this is crazy, man. Marcus Fitzgerald, he was coming out shooting crazy. He was, uh, he was wild. Like, I'm talking about wild. He, I remember I watched them play before us. We played in the tournament together. They, they right. played right before us. He come down through NBA three. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, this this is who we gotta go again. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an issue for sure. Yeah, man. That uh, when I saw that game on YouTube, I guess I think it was in California. Y'all played them. It was oh yeah, some... I played them in Cali too. I think Cali was like the one game was everybody was like, like they was like, like okay, because then they went to go get Jordan Tolls. Yep. When they went to go get Jordan Toes, I remember that. That was like one game. He was like, damn, we got to go play Jordan. Because then they had, they, that's who they added. They added him. And back then, you know, Jordan was, just because he played football, that boy could put that ball in the rim. So when they go, they went to go get Jordan, I remember that. We wouldn't like triple overtime, double overtime with him. It was a very intense game. So in middle school basketball, when did you first start getting notoriety? Uh, probably for for me to know, like, okay, people know who I am. Probably like my eighth grade year, I did that dunk. I threw off the backboard, dunked the ball. I was still, I maybe a little bit because I played with the soldiers. wasn't as big, but it was still a lot of uh, people knew who I was. People would have been like, oh, that's Kyrie Walker, whoop de whoop, but. Eighth grade year, I think, took it going to my freshman year, took it over the mark, my hundred percent. So, this is the question I, I'm probably pretty sure you answered, but I didn't hear it yet. Where the hell was that game at when you threw it off the backboard and dunked it? Why was it no other camera cameras there, like ball is life for somebody? Like, because that was like a, the most magical moment of that year. It was on Bleacher Report, ESPN. That was like the biggest dunk of that year, but it wasn't a better camera angle. But I feel like the the phone was the best footage because it was like so so vintage, like it just made it look so raw. Um, nah, back then it wasn't it wasn't a lot of people that came to it like, yeah, I was good was good, but a lot of people then wasn't wasn't really watching me like that. It was a bug life then like it took a people like took that dunk to people like, Oh, okay. This guy's for real. You know what I mean? So right. So yeah, it, t- it took that note to the, oh, this guy's for real. No, my dad had an AU team that all the kids that he trained when he ran a gym. We we played on the same team. It got me better and got other people better for sure. So when it got me, it, it helped me a lot because I played with all different people, people that played the game for a little bit, who was really trying to get into the game. It helped me. Right. And we'll help each other. It was winning tournaments. We played 16 you, we played 17 you was beating 17U teams. And it was like, we went to Reno, we went to Vegas, and we was beating teams that we wasn't supposed to beat. And just it, it wasn't just because I was on the team, but just because everybody knew their role. We had shooters on the team. I, I, I think one thing it was, we had shooters. I think my dad had no, I don't know why, but my dad had like six, seven shooters on the team. Great big man. Like our big man wasn't the, the greatest. It was six, nine, and just, they knew what to do. They knew what to set screen. Cash in, lay the ball up. They wasn't doing anything extra. So my I think my dad, you no, know, he helped me get better that way. So after that dunk, I know you said a lot of people like knew who you were after that dunk. Social media followers, how how much did your followers go up after that viral moment? Oh, um it went up a whole lot. I can't I think when I posted a dunk, I was like maybe like Six thousand. Then that night I woke up like one fifty k. I think that. 
to my and uh and found out that Drake liked it. I don't like I've been I've been a Drake fan for a while though, so when I found out Drake liked it, my friend was looking at me, he was like, Bro, you know Drake liked it. I was like, Huh? I ain't gonna lie, I screamed for sure. It was in the gym. It was finna play and I I just started yelling. <laughs> so Drake Drake on? follow you, don't he? Yeah, you do. I was like, I like, I didn't know. Somebody told me about it. I'm like, I don't even know this stuff, and it just it showed a lot of people show like, all right, he's he's real. So then that's when all the people started looking at me for real and started knowing who I was. Now it, it was always like players that had a buzz in middle school, but I felt like you are the the start of the new wave of players that went viral like Bleacher Report and stuff like that. In a way, do you feel like you kind of fathered <laughs> like <laughs> like this generation, like Young Thug say, like, like, like fathered the new wave of players not, that's going viral? Not really. Um, it, seemed, it seemed like it because more I think about it, but nah, like, like, like to be told, like people that have mixtapes, I want to be one of those people. I was watching Kira Carr, Trevor Dunbar, um, Josh Jackson, all those mixtapes. I'm like, damn, man. Like, like one day I want to have a mixer like that. I remember getting my first mixtape from sixth grade. I was, it was the happiest thing on earth. Like, I was so happy. I remember that, man. Like, just to have a mixtape, like, like, it's, like you got like, I realize like you got to be really good to have a mixtape. You know what I mean? Like, like going YouTube for people. Right. Like, He's raw, man. <laughs> I remember that, man. I, I would never forget that day. I was getting up for school. And I was like, yo, your mixtape came out. I was like, for real? Man, I, I couldn't stop watching. I showed my t-shirts and all. I remember that. I couldn't stop watching it. But you just, that's like, when I got it, I was like, I want like, I started wanting more. I just wanted people to really know who I was. Like, come from Atlanta, you know what I mean? Just, you know, it's, it's hard because nobody, nobody really hand me nothing. Like, I wasn't like one of those kids like, oh, we gonna put you in front of cameras. Nah. I said the right. Teams, a lot of AU teams. I got time. I got my time to shine, but I set the bench. You know what I mean? So it happens. So then after that, I remember that summer or fall, you went to the MSH TV camp. Now that man, when you hooked up with Ryan Curry, home team hoops, just that whole environment, bro, that took you to I mean, it was already up a level, but that took your notoriety to a whole another level like i i'll never forget that shit when you walked off the course i'm, I'm gone i'm gone i'm out of here i'm done <laughs> talk about the mhh tv cam man me looking up back at that i'm like it's a blessing um i just i love the game of basketball so much i was like it took me to a level that nobody think like i didn't even think that like i knew i was good but after that i was like you know what i could this could be my career like, you know, after a while, you be like, you know what? You good. Like, I want to get to the league. But I really start saying, like, I'm going to go to the league when, like, at a certain point in my time. Like, eighth grade, and I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't thinking, like, oh, I'm going to go into the league. Like, you know, I hoped. I didn't think I was super that good. But freshman year, sophomore year, nah. I would say sophomore year. I was like, you know what? I can make I could like, really, like, put the ball in the rim and get to the league if I keep doing what I was doing. You know, freshman, I was like, nobody could stop me. I was just going out and I'm having fun. I was a freshman in high school, just got to got there. I was like, bro, let me just have fun. That's what I did. And that's what, I think that's the biggest thing. I was just having fun. That's why I love the game so much. I was just having fun with it. And that's why everybody was like, oh, he looks older than everybody else. I was just, I'm just, yeah, y'all from the South. Yeah, we look, we, we different. We big, right. <laughs> big out there. But I was just super happy. I was like, I'm happy playing the game. I was just wanted to play it. I was playing it just to play it. Like it was like I was in back in like elementary school, going with my dad to the rec center. Was I was just playing. That's how I was. But it was just just playing against varsity people. Now talk about your freshman year. My Mamru was a Mamru Catholic. Moreau. Moreau Catholic. Talk about that year, man. Did you you, you pretty much? dominated from what i saw on youtube but just talk about that year i'm pretty sure you averaged 20 plus talk about the difference like going on to the high school floor i was like 21 it, the pace was different like I mean, we were playing some of course we played some weak teams um got called overrated that's why i stopped 
created my own shirt when uh, my mom and dad, I got called overrated by a rival school, played terrible, I fouled out, had like eight points. And you no, know, we started a shirt, we had a shirt called, I think it's all over, look on my Instagram, I think I'm wearing it. It was an overrated shirt, everybody got it. And I remember just like, this shit, like, it, it got real. Like, it got, it got real to a point where I knew, I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is like, this is not, this is not, it's not normal to me. It's not, yeah, people call me overrated, but I never had a whole student section yell at me, throw things at me. I like, I deal with a lot. Like people were throwing things at me in a, in a student section. I think somebody, somebody was, somebody threw ice at my head one time, popcorn. I'm like, I'm like, bro, what's going on? But it happened and I, I feel like I flourished. I, I did what I had to do. We played uh we played this guy named Kezzy. He plays in the uh, Miami Heat now. We played him now uh state championship. Mm. Look, we lost, but I think I was my freshman year with thirty and ten. That was the last game I had was thirty and ten. If you guys are just tuning in, man, we live with the one, the only Kyrie Walker. We will be taking live call in questions, but if you call with some BS, we're not gonna answer, we gonna hang up. Straight like that. I told y'all, I keep telling y'all, 2020 was a hell of a bad year. 2021, we ain't bringing no nonsense in here, man. All right, we're going to take some live questions. And if it's not a good question, we hanging up on you. The phone number is 330-571-1460. Call in with your questions, man. Now, your sophomore year, did you transfer to Arizona? That's when you transferred, right? I transferred to Arizona my sophomore year. Talk about AZ, man, when you moved, when you... Decided to go to Hillcrest. Um, I wanted my game to go to, to a whole different level. My dad got a coaching job. He wanted to he wanted to coach me again. I think that was his biggest thing. He was like, "Yo, I want to coach. I want to, I want to, I want to get back on there." It was like it's hard from being from the stands because it's hard to look for him. Even though he's a big guy, pop six ten, doesn't matter. Like I still gotta look for him. I gotta find like, okay, where he at? It's hard though, but. When he when you start coaching, I think I I got better and I grew. I grew, I grew to like six six. I grew up to like yeah about about like just t- about like almost such a six six about like six five and a half. I went to, I, that's when I got to Arizona. Then I slimmed down a lot. Then um, and I still have I feel like I still had a great year. We played top teams in the in a grind session. Um, we played amazing teams, and I was like, you know what? It was it was amazing. Like, I had an amazing sophomore year, even though I played with some injuries. I was like sophomore year, uh, and I, I didn't have a lot of help either. This, I know one of my teammates, uh, Demarcus Jacobs, uh, from Chicago, he goes to St. Louis. He was on the team. I have a teammate, KJ Hines, played at Nevada. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ron Artest, I'm playing on our team. Uh, one of my other big men, uh, Deshaun Thomason, um, he went and played at, he was at Colorado State. And that's my sophomore year team. He had super, he wasn't super loaded. But, you know, turn around junior year, oh boy, that's when things got rolling. You got a, you got a phone call right here. 909, you on live with Kyrie Walker, man. I was just wondering, like, what advice does he got for, like, the younger kids coming up? Did you hear that, Kyrie? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, Bro, I would tell you, have fun. Uh, nowadays, a lot of people worry about politics way too much in the game of basketball, and that, hurt, that hurts a lot of people. But I want you to have fun with it because at the end of the day, nobody playing the game but you. Have fun and, and just be proud of yourself, bro. That's the one thing you don't need nobody else to tell you that you're doing great. When you know, when you feel like you're doing great, that's when you know that you're doing something. You don't want no just because you want people to see that you you're the best in your state or whatever. You want them cameras. You want both life. That time will come. All you gotta do is keep working, bro. Trust me. I I know the feeling. Yeah, man. A lot of kids get the fun taken away from them at a real early age nowadays, man. A real real early age. And I feel sorry for some of them too. Five seven one, five seven one. You want your message for? I don't know, man. 
answer back. But yeah, man, a lot of these kids getting the game, the fun stripped away from at, at an early age, bro. How did you keep the fun involved and still have so much notoriety at a young age? I was never really worried about it. Young age, I ain't really worried about it. When I got older, you no know, things took a thing was things was moving left and right, and just that's when people start not making not fun for me. I was like, man, it's like I'm, y'all doing too much. We think got too much on social media. You, everything coming out like, oh, Curry's doing this, he's doing that, he's doing this with live. It's like, it's like yeah, you're taking the fun out of this. It's like it's kind of like it's kind of like kind of annoying at this point. So you dominate your junior year, sophomore year, a good freshman year. Oh, I'm it's, dominate. I don't even dominate. Not even the word. It's like I'm murdered sophomore year. I mean, <laughs> I was a triple double my junior year. Went to China, dominate. Every team we played, dominate. I was killing on national TV. So you went to China. It went to China my junior year. We all went okay. for um, right before I decommit from Arizona State. Talk about that experience in China. That's it's crazy. Like I didn't the way y'all see it on movies and not the way that I picture it. Like I don't like not even close. Like they have a McDonald's down the street from our hotel. They have like on the on the Big Mac, they had two Polish sausages between the Big Mac. <laughs> they like it literally lost me. Had a uh, filet fish down there. Better than a better than coming a better than America filet of fish, a hundred percent. Was the food like that much better? Like it was like a quality burger, quality fish. Yeah, it was. A, it was really quality. You could like it. Was, it tastes a lot different, but it tastes better. Like you can just t- taste it. Tastes better. French fries, all that. What do you plan to do? Do you plan to go to the G League or how are you going to enter drafts? Uh, right now I'm in the NBA program. Um, I got five months left. Um, I've been getting calls from a lot of teams so far. Everything's starting to roll. So I was just declaring for the draft from here or, you know, whatever moves is opening up, you know, just, you know, things might change and I just might do this and that. But right now I'm in the NBA program and I'm, I'm doing fine, man. I, when I came into a program at two thirty, I came in a program two thirty six six. Man, right now I'm six seven two fifteen. I think I don't know if that's a big difference to you, not a big difference to you, but it, it's a big difference for me. I went from six six two thirty to six seven two fifteen. I think that's a, a huge difference. Then that's a, I, I'm, I'm a position I play multiple positions from there. You know what I get tired of, Kyrie? I get tired of people sitting on the internet commenting on photos. Like the photo you just posted, drinking water, like all the negative comments that was on it from people that probably never worked out a day in their life. They don't know that a sweatshirt can make you look a certain way. They don't know that it's all about angles. You know what I mean? That's why girls take so much weight to get that angle. You know what I mean? Because that angle means a lot. <laughs> you know, but I just got to let people continue talking, man. Like, I've been seeing on social media a lot of people saying this is not going to work. He he not going to do this. And it's just like, man, like, y'all was with me. Y'all was rooting for me back then. But now it's like things changed because I haven't played and y'all going against me. I understand. 313, 313. You on live with Kyrie Walker. Go ahead. Yeah. um, Could you ask him, um, how does he feel like um, about, say, the difference between going to a stacked high school or a not so stacked high school where you could be the star right away. Which one would he rather do if he was to start over again as like a freshman? Oh, that was a great question, man. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name, man? My name is Trey. Trey, good. Thank you. That's a great question, Trey. Okay. To be told, I played on a terrible high school team. We won one to six. Even though even though we finished the year between nine and seven. I played one high school team. We just bought in. We bought in. We had one. We had two seniors. They took us. They took us to a limit. But I didn't play on the best. I didn't play on the best high school team. No, not even close. I knew what I was getting myself into. I just, I just trusted the process and kept going. I just kept going. I was like, you know what? I'm just keep going. 
ain't nothing gonna stop me from you know from doing what I want to do. And I played on the I played on a decent team, decent team, and I ended up being a star on that team. And I was just I was fine with it. We played the best team our rival. Beat them. So. So you would rather play against the stars than be like kind of like on a stacked team in high school. Yeah, I want to play against some stars because them stars get exposed. Right. I suppose a lot of stars in my time. <laughs> so talk about your your senior year, man. That that's the one that everybody always talk about. You know, that's when people started to say, "No, what is what is he doing? Do, do he know what he's doing? Does Kyrie Walker know what he's doing?" Just give us a little rundown. You don't got to get into some things that you don't want to talk about, but give us a little brief synopsis on, on your senior year and what went into that. Um, most of it, I was trying to graduate early to go to college. That was a lot of it. A lot of it was a lot of people knew, like, oh, he was going to class up. That was I was keeping a lot of people guessing. I wanted to because I'm, I don't want people to know my decision. I know what the move is. Yeah, I went down to the rankings for not playing. I can. I was mad though. Like, I'm not touching the floor, but right. You know, a lot of people who didn't play my sophomore junior year, who didn't play sophomore year, and stay in the same position they sophomore year, from not playing, from being hurt, from being hurt, and a lot of it they wasn't even hurt for real. They just didn't want to play because they wasn't, you know, what I mean, wasn't doing what they needed to do. Right. I've noticed that. People was like, I was like, damn, this guy not playing. So why he's still ranked higher than I am? You know what I mean? I'm like, but I'm playing. I'm averaging 30. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, this cat is, I'm like, this cat is tripping. Like, I'm like, why can I, why can I do this? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, it's cool. And no, uh, I took a lot of heat from it. Trust me. I took a lot of heat. A lot of people talk a lot of stuff about me on social media to this day. Oh, he's why she was a has been. Yeah, just because I didn't play my senior year, but y'all were just y'all were just on y'all were just riding me soft junior year. I'm talking about this guy's the deal. He's the real deal. I didn't play one year, y'all riding me. Like, oh, he fell off. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff went a lot of uh, other stuff went into it. No family stuff, but you know what I mean, bro, I can't you can't make everybody happy. You can't please you can't please the whole world. You on live with Kyrie Walker, man. Go ahead. All right, it's a college basketball question. Okay. Um, who would you pick if you were like in the draft? Sharif Cooper or Jalen Suggs? Oh, Sharif Cooper or Jalen Suggs? That's a tough one. Good question. Oh my god. Sharif a bucket. Jalen Suggs is more like a team, man. Uh that's a tough one. I guess it depends on the need, right? Yeah, it depends on the need. I can't I can't choose that one. Both of my boys. One from the A. One I've been playing against since it was before we was like before we even had names to our to ourselves, and so that's a hard to say. I can't do that. So I can't do that. I can't do that because then it will make me look bad. Look, I'm a bad guy, and then oh, he went on every tone about he rather choose somebody and everybody. Yeah, make I you. Deal. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna answer it. I, I refuse to answer that question at this moment, man. Can't do it. So when you so let me ask you this: when you see like. People that you played against, maybe dominated. People that you played against growing up. When you see them playing college basketball on TV, you know how does that make you feel inside? Does it make you feel like, man, I wish I would be out there playing, or does it make you feel like I wish I would made a different decision? Or what? Do, what does it make you feel like deep down inside? Uh, deep inside, I feel like I, I feel like if I'm gonna play college basketball, I would average. I would play. I would average twenty five, no matter where I would been at. But at the same time, I, I needed to work on my body though. Right. Like, there's so much. I need to work on my body. Like, imagine I would want to be 6'6", 235 in college basketball, or it'd be 6'7", 215. Right. So, you know, it's, it's that's hard, man. But, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm working hard. I mean, I'm going to make it work. People think it ain't going to work. You know what I mean? I, I want people to think it's not going to work. I want people to feel like he's going he's gonna to fail. Like he's gonna feel in life. He's gonna be a has been because like, just be like y'all calling me a has been because I didn't play my I didn't play one year, and I made a decision that nobody else makes. Y'all call me a has been, and 
It don't make sense to me though. It made no sense because y'all don't see anything that's on social media. So what? Why do I gotta show y'all what I'm doing? Is it that important? That's what I'm saying. Like, is it is it that important for me to show y'all that? Oh, he's he's working on like I gotta I gotta show to y'all that I'm working on my game and not just working silent. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm. That's what I try to figure out. Like, what does it really come to? Like, I'm am I here to please y'all or I'm here to please me? Like, like I'm not here to prove nothing to y'all. Y'all know. You can look back at my highlights. I was dominating every year. Been a five star for the last. I don't know since since ESPN came out. They try to take them stars away from me too, man. That's crazy. Oh, they because it, it was like, oh, we don't know. They and they had and they had some a weak old excuse. All them all them twenty four seven guys had a weak old excuse. I'm about oh, we don't know what Kyrie doing. Is he gonna reclass? Is he's not? So we can't put him anywhere. Well. That's a, that's a weak excuse. Well, I'm I'm in the same class right now. Why don't you put me where I was supposed to be at? There was, and, and they came up with excuse every time. They don't like me. I know they didn't like me because their favorite player I was I destroyed was being I was being up on their favorite player, and they didn't like it. And I'm like, bro, like you could you, are you going? And people use that against me though. They like, oh, he has no offers. Huh? Every, I can call any college coach right now to this day. They we got we could chop it up, and they always gonna say, "Man, I wish you came here." So what's the talking about? Like that would make me more mad. They were like, "Oh, he has no offers." How I got no offers? You can look on any anything. Have, yeah, I'm, I'm looking on. I was just looking on. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if we can add this screen right here. Search screen. My offer stood everywhere. Did I need have to tell you that them? I I am one Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky was my dream school. But... Yeah, I'm looking right here. Let me see. Is it is it showing up? Yeah, I oh, just... let me see. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> trying to add the the rivals dot com. It still show your your offers on there. It shows uh Arizona, Arizona State. Like I don't know where people. I feel like I feel like Rivals is the most legit one. I feel like ESPN is kind of biased, man. I don't know what ESPN be doing over there, but I feel like they got people. But ESPN had ESPN had my had every I've been lifted every offer I ever I got so far. They erased, they erased every offer. ESPN. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because I I'm, I didn't choose the I didn't choose I didn't choose my uh. I didn't choose any anyone. No, I'm looking at it. And look at look at this logo right here. That's the D Rich TV logo, right? That's crazy how they got that on there. <laughs> and that's wild. Um, but it's I'm, a, I'm looking at it uh, right here on uh, ESPN. Every offer is still up. Mm. Every this is since I, I'm I'm looking at it, but yeah, I'm not. I mean, not ranked. One from a four. I went from a five star to, to a one star. Can't uh, can't be mad though. I have no control over it. I, I can't. I don't know, man. I, I just can't be mad, man. You know, I just. But if you, if you know, I'm a top 15 player in the country, regardless of regardless of what anybody think. I was always been. That's the one thing you can never say, wait, he don't work hard. He never, he had no motor. That's what college coaches liked about me. They were like, bro, his motor is just crazy. And I'm a winner. Little win. If you're just tuning in, man, you're on live with D Rich, man. We got we're gonna be in for 10 more minutes, man. I'm pretty sure Kyrie got stuff to do. He is three hours behind there, so it's 5 30 there. I'm pretty sure he gotta eat some dinner or or something of that nature. I already got my dinner and it's time for me to go to sleep here in a minute. Kyrie, what would you say that the G League is harder or easier than college basketball? Because I see some of these players putting up stats. That a lot of people not putting up in college when they go to college. I don't know if it's maybe because college defense, they double team, the, the scheme is different. Uh, NBA, G League kind of more open. What do you think? It's, it's a lot different. It's just more it's just uh, the, one, of course, way wider. You know what I mean? It's just the NBA floor, a lot of more spacing. Then there's another one just you're, um, you're every, you know, it's different. Like 
you you plan it to say I gotta play Josh Gibbs. We weren't about Josh. We we're about Remy Martin. We we're worrying about you know the other guys on the team. So we got a game plan for those guys. NBA is some more like more a little bit intact. You know what I mean? Right. You know, playing KD. You know what KD gonna give us? You know what I mean? Like we just gotta maintain him. We gotta try to get you know play some good defense to not get him that thirty. You know what I mean? Whatever he scores that night. 909, 909, man. You live on with Kyrie Walker. Go ahead and with your question. Uh, I just want to ask Kyrie a quick question. Um, asking him, like, what – because I know you moved out here. You said you moved around, like, the seventh grade. Like, what camps helped you really get your name out there, like, around, like, L.A., Anaheim? Because I seen you went to the All-American Sports – All-American Sports Center in Anaheim. So, like, what camps helped you really get your name out there? That's a good question, man. That's a good question. What's your name, man? AJ. Okay, good question, AJ. Um, I went to Buzz Life Camp, All American. Um, damn, I'm trying to remember. I didn't. I wasn't a big camp person, but I did. ABC camps. ABC camps were big back then, like really big. Everybody was recording ABC camps. You was, you was catching there. There was some new talent there. Um, I went to the CB3 camp. That helped a lot, though. Going to CP3 helped a lot. Everybody going to see. Everybody went pretty much going to CP3 going to be in the league. Like or not, everybody going to CP3 pretty much going to be in the league. And our my class, right? The the eighth grade camp that can't be legit. Man, everybody going to go to the league in that class pretty much. And from that game, oh yeah, hundred percent. So like. I, I can't I can't remember it was, it was a long time but EBC Ball of Life CP3 Cam that helped that helped a lot though EBC but I would say I prefer EBC because that helped extremely because they were coming to they were giving people like invites if you had, was showing out in a certain place yeah EBC they were in a pretty good camp series back then they traveled all around the West Coast and then they had one camp that had everybody that was balling at one which was the ebc all-american camp or the baller's life all-american camp which was a very huge turnout very huge turnout uh arizona state man what 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 led to the commitment and what led to the to the not being committed anymore because i know a lot of people you know ask that question what would arizona state have been with Kyrie walker on the roster um Going to Arizona State, I was like, bro, I don't want to. I don't want to worry about no offers no more. I don't want to worry about nothing. I want to just hoop. I think that's a big thing. I was, I was like, you know, I want some O's, man. Like, I just, I'm doing what I gotta do. It's about time me get some O's. I wasn't, I wasn't worried about the O's no more. I went to Arizona State. I was like, no, I'm straight. I felt, it felt like family and Harden. I started to harden about it. I was like, bro, do what's best for you. It was like, it was like it's gonna be straight. I'm, at that time, they was having, they was guard heavy. I was like, you know what, I want to go here. Crowd is crazy. Crowd is crazy. People screaming my name, talking about, we can't wait to get here. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I, I feel the love, though. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love, you know. That time came around, and uh, decommitted. I don't know. Mom, you no, know, my mom, I'm, I'm always doing well a lot, man. I'm always doing well a lot. My grandfather passed away, and then turned around, and my mom had cancer. So um, she had breast cancer. Going into uh Going to my junior year. Um, another reason why I also set out my uh, my senior year too. Um, mentally, man, it was, it was it was just I was I was just hurt, man. Just mentally, I was just I was I was hurt all around the, around, man. It was, it was I was hard. It was hard. It was really hard for me, man. It was really hard, and me knowing what cancer could do to somebody, it was just like uh, I was like when I heard, I was like. Uh, kind of just like kind of hurt me and I was really emotional but you know my high school coach my junior year my high school coach he can just tell like I had a different passion like he was gonna look I was getting angry quicker than usual just a little more quiet I was just like just stand up I was just like I was I was away from everybody I was like no I'm just gonna chill over here man like it was just I was just my vibe was really really different and that and that you know that hurt you know, I pray God nobody ever goes through that, but 
And but here's the thing though, nobody no if I don't tell somebody, I don't want everyone to tell nobody because I don't want to use that excuse. Right. When I tell people feel better, like, damn, I didn't know that happened. They were like, oh well, now then then people were like, oh now we know like this guy was going through a lot, still hooping, and still putting up numbers he was doing. And but y'all badge me though. But they, here's I don't get that. But they badge me and tell me he fell off because he went to a different school. No, this wasn't that. It, it, it was it never was a fall off. I just didn't play. So y'all made it seem like I fell off. Exactly what y'all did. Y'all be like, oh, he fell off because I didn't play and they didn't rank and they took away my ranking. Didn't play. Yeah, man. Mental mental health is a real big thing, bro. Mental health is the biggest thing. If you're not mentally there, what do we, that's what they bashing Kyrie Irving about. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not. He get paid millions of dollars. Oh, you know, like, oh, he get paid millions of dollars. Why can't he just show it to a game, bro? If a guy's not mentally there, you gonna tell me you gonna you gonna average 25 points if you're not mentally there? To, please let me know. I'm not seeing one person from the house from people that. Oh, I know basketball. No, you don't. To, you have you played an average twenty five or dealt with something and still had to play a game of basketball? No, I don't want to hear nothing from you. I don't want to hear nothing from you. I want to hear all oh, my girlfriend broke up with me. No, that's a lame excuse. I don't, come on, man. That's, I don't want to hear that. If it ain't about some family issue and that affects you hard, I don't want to hear right. nothing. I don't want to hear nothing about it. I don't. I don't. I don't. So when people was talking about had the trend and stuff about Kyrie Walk. Kyrie Walker is no longer on Earth. You know, how did that make you feel? There's people making up rumors about that type of stuff, playing with people's life like that. Like, because that, that's a whole nother level of trolling right there. That's not even funny. I see uh, people don't want me to be here anymore. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've yet to see somebody else go through that in my class. I've yet, I've not, I've, if, let me know if I'm wrong. I've yet to see not one person have. A fake, a fake death report article on them, Twitter on them. I haven't, I've yet to see not one other person in my class. But then it's always, oh, you got to be mentally tough for that stuff. Well, I haven't, like, let it happen to you. I want to see how you feel. Like, how people worry about you calling your phone up. You know what I mean, like, you won't go through what I go through. I, yeah, I, that was I, crazy. I bet, I, I, I bet a lot of money in the world. Somebody from the outside world stepping my shoes today and from today, they gonna want to leave the day they get here. Cause you not, they gonna want to leave. They gonna be like, okay, this not for me. It's not for everybody, man. It's not. And I was like, oh, he always get bad advice. No, I get put. In, I give him good advice. Y'all just don't see. Y'all don't see the same thing I see. I don't see it. It's okay. I can't blame nobody else though. All I can do is just keep my head up and keep moving forward. 514, 514, you're on live with Kyrie Walker, man. What's your question? Um, Kyrie, does does Zane have black lungs? <laughs> hey, man. I don't, I don't know what he He said, dude, Bane got back. What? One of my friends, uh, I play, uh, I stream on Twitch, you know, just, I uh, keep my, keep my mind just, I'm, I want to be myself. You know, I don't always. I don't want to be always carry walking the basketball player. Sometimes I just want to be a guy that who just play yeah. basketball. I mean, and just yeah. And a lot of people bash me for it, like, oh, this guy is always streaming on Twitch. Like, bro, what do you? I'm in pandemic. What else you want me to do? I come from come from the gym and come home. You go from gym to work out with other somewhere else. I come home. Where else you want me to do? The gym masters ain't good like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Like it's it's not the best thing ever, so like, like what like you know what I mean like it's just, so that was that was a twitch that was a twitch reference. Yeah, they like <laughs> one of my one of my friends. You know what I mean? He we got this joke with him. They got black lungs. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we with them. So but yeah, bro, people bash me for for the most stupidest things ever, man. Like I'm it's it pretty much the point. Like man, I'm like really tired of like bro, I'm, like getting like getting bashed on for the last two years. Bro. Like I always like I said this thing like I can't ever live my life without getting bashed on. Like I can't like there's always something new gonna pop up about me, something new. 
what happened to Kyrie Walker? Always going to be that, or Kyrie Walker was a has been, or so it's always something. But I never, I feel like I can never live my life without somebody always have their pain on me and always leave and won't leave me alone for what I what I want to do. Like if I if I bro if I don't if I don't if I worked out and I did what I do today, I can't I can't stream on Twitch, bro. Like, like you know what I mean? Like it just. I mean, it's 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 people that's millionaires as pros and still streaming on Twitch. So I don't know what people are talking about. That's that's like that's becoming like a real profession. Uh, you know what I mean? And just have fun with. It. I can interact with people that that normally can't interact with me during Instagram. Like like you know what I mean? Like I got half a meal. Like it's hard to get, get in touch with me on IG. And half the time I don't even be on there. So people come to my Twitch stream, ask for advice, and I speak to them. But it's like, but you can't. You can't expect me to, you know, mean to try to do something that you can't do. Yeah, just because you can't do it, don't mean, you know, what I mean, not my fault. I've been just trying to live my life, man, to the fullest, man. That's it. Six seven eight, six seven eight. You on live with Kyrie Walker, man? Go ahead with your question. That's the Atlanta. That's the Atlanta. Hey, what's up, Kyrie? That's the Atlanta, Georgia area code. I hear it. Yes, sir. Go ahead can with your y- question, y- man. Can you hear me? Y- yeah. Can you okay, hear him, cool, Kyrie? Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So, so my question is, Kyrie. You know, you're from Atlanta, and you say you were from Cobb. What, uh, what part of Cobb? Like, if you stayed in Atlanta, what high school would you have gone to? Oh, bro. I went to Pope. Like, truth be told, I suppose I went to Pope with Colin to Pope, bro. Like, I suppose I moved back home. I went to Pope with Colin. Just ain't getting back to that time. I ain't get back to it. But nah, yeah. Pope went to Pope, bro. I remember that. Hmm. Uh, it was gonna, I was gonna, I mean, make it, it was gonna make it work, but I'm, I miss home, man. There's been times where, also, to have been told, I was supposed to, I was gonna play with, uh, supposed to go to McKeegan and play with, uh, Sharif. And I did that. Oh, that, that would have been, that would have been nasty. I did that, you know what I mean? So, so, you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is at this point. I mean, we moving forward right now. And we're going to be on here seven more minutes, man. Fuck it. Might as well make it an hour, man. We've been here 53 minutes. Might as well make it an even hour. Get on up off here. Hey, if y'all want to call in, man, 330-571-1460. I'll be taking a few more questions, man. Kyrie, what? so just what, what's next, man? That's I, that's I guess that's what everybody want to know, man. What's next, man? Um, Get ready for a job. I've been getting ready for it, but I just, it's a different level now, though. It's like five months left. We got a call. Let's see what they're talking about. 317, 317. You're on live with Kyrie Walker. Uh, so how do you feel about the people like making fun of your age? Good question. I, I meant to ask that. I ain't even old, though. I, I don't think I'm older yet because they think I'm older than what, what you I know, Do You know how every time somebody dominate in middle school basketball, they clown somebody about their age and but I was now the the running joke is Kyrie Walker is you know fifty years old. You know how people just run take stuff and run with it, bro. I was never that old though. I was exactly. Old. I just turned twenty. Like we talking about just turned twenty two. Like I just literally just turned twenty. Like it doesn't have my binge when I just turned twenty. Literally. So it's like half of the people I know are nineteen or twenty. Yeah. People get to the league are twenty. A rookie is twenty, twenty one. So like, what's going like, what's what going on? Playing gets. Right. So why why I gotta worry about my age when they're not gonna worry about my age? Thirty four year old ain't gonna worry about my age. What mm-hmm. like? I'm like, oh, you know what? Cool. Like, he can't. I'm not. He's not worrying about my age. He's thirty four. I'm a rookie though. He's on. He was like, you're a rookie. You are gonna try to kill me? So like, like, so like, worrying about the age at this point? Because I'm gonna go play college basketball. I'm playing guys. 24, 20, 23, like grown men, little like literally grown men. Some might got some some couple of them might have a kid in, uh, in college. You know what I mean? So like, so I, I don't know. I just the age so, joke, the age joke been so outplayed. People like people like all right, man, shit not funny no more. I mean like it's not funny. Six one four six one four six one four. You on live with Kyrie Walker? Go ahead with your question. All right, uh, I just want to know, like, what are your plans on getting noticed for the draft? 
Um, honestly, uh, I got things ringing though. Like just like my my trainer that I work with right now, he has. I work out with NBA people straight. Only NBA people. I don't work with no high school coaches. NBA only. So he everything everything we get sent, he gets they send out to NBA people every day. Like every day, like we work out, he's sending something to NBA people. He's talking to NBA people every day. You know I, mean? I just got a call from I just got a call from three teams. Three days ago. Mm-hmm. Shit. If, if you ain't telling me I ain't doing something great. I'm getting calls from teams. Teams worrying about, oh, oh yeah, we gonna come in and watch them. So like that's I think that's the biggest thing. Like if I'm getting ignored by my teams, I really don't care what y'all think at this point. I'm worried about what them teams do. You know what I mean? Get advice to you no, know, I don't think it'll be no combine. We me and him were just talking. I don't think it'll be no combine. So they're gonna have to come and watch us work out. They're gonna sit in the gym, they go mask on in the corner and watch it watch me work out. And I'm all I'm gonna do is, you know what I mean? Do what I do. Put the ball in the rim. Do what I gotta do. So I'm, I'm getting my note. I'm getting, I'm getting notice. Teams know. They, a lot of teams, a lot of teams worry was, what does his body look like? Then they, when they find out who I came to, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. He's the, the guy I'm working out with. Is the same guy that made Blake Griffin jump over that car. Yes, yeah, that's, that's when Blake was uh, at his peak bounce. No, we're talking about the same guy that why Blake Griffin was Blake Griffin. Right. He's the same. He came to this guy in college. So, hey, man, if you see Blake Griffin do it, and we're on a social media platform like we got now, come on. Tell me I can't do it. It's like a slap in the face at this point. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, man. This is going to be the last question right here. We got two more minutes on here. Yeah. Go ahead with yeah, your question. Kyrie. Uh, well, what is your your favorite moment on the Aiden Ross EA? What do you say? Um, my friend, he, he, a lot a lot of people know that I be on Twitch a lot just because. <laughs> okay. That's so much free time. Like, it's just, right. It's so, that's the only thing about like about the pandemic. I have so much free time. It's not like I can get in, I can be in the gym every day because like our we it's a it's a set time. Like you know what I mean? It's hard. So like I just be like on my friend stream and you know he streams all types of stuff. Probably the biggest streamer right now, hottest streamer on the block right now. You know I just be I just be hanging out with him. Me, Bronny, Bronny be on there all the time. Like we just be you know it's like we can actually be us. You know what I mean? We gotta worry about nobody else. Like, you actually have fun, interact with people. So it's like it's like when people be like he do like he be on Twitch. Like what else you want me to do, bro? Like I'm sorry. Like I get in the gym, I do what I do, I come home. Like, are you like? Here's the thing. I be trying. Are you gonna build me a gym to work out in every day? Like, if you can do that, please, I'll be glad. But you can't do that. You can't. Or you can't call no NBA team for me. There's no reason me talking to you anymore, man. You know what I mean? So. So he said, "What's your favorite moment on there, huh?" It's probably hella favorite moments, huh? Yeah, because we do it a lot. Like it's so much. We do everything, man. Like that's the, that's the only thing. So man, we about to get up off here, man. If if is is there anything you want to say to everybody out there who man, is it? just know, man, just like I tell myself, bro, live every day is your last, because one day you're gonna be just right, bro. I live every day like it's my last day. I work hard. Um they gonna see though. You know what I mean? People are like, oh yeah, he's not gonna make it. Hey man, I put hey, Beavis, you know you know me. Right. I put that ball on the rim, no matter what prediction I'm in. You give me a snowball, I'll put it in the rim. Hey, you know, I'm at the best. If I, I kid you not, if I had my body as today, today, same height and all, I'm average 45. I guaranteed 45 my junior year. Senior year, oh. I wish I played my senior year. Because I would, oh, man, I would average way more than 30. But with this body, come on, man, six seven two fifteen. I ain't getting touched, and I'm and I'm swole up top. Like, come on, I ain't, ain't nobody touching me. I think that's the one thing I'm gonna be ready. I don't gotta get ready. I'm I'm already ready. I've been waiting. You know what I mean, we got we got things we got things popping up though. 
I can't get too much. Can't get too much into it. Yeah, but you can't get. You can't get very the, the, all the spill, man. But I got so I got so much going on. You better just you better just hope they better they better. I kid you not. I want them to play so hard that I I want them to play really really hard. That man, if he makes it, I don't want. I don't want no bandwagons though. That's why I don't want no bandwagon. I want old. But you know what's gonna happen though. I already knew he would make it. Oh, he's not washed up. Hey, Amen. Use the ones that on Twitter talking about, oh, he's not that good. Not that good anymore because you haven't seen no film. I want you to play me one on one, though. I bet I. Ooh, it's going to be a long day for you. But I'm just, you no, know, man, I'm happy, man. I'm ready. I'm mentally there again, man. I'm just ready to move forward. I'm just ready to get back to it and just. Get back to the top, you know what I mean? You know, I feel like when you're on top for so long, you start, I got, you know, people like, they start trying to look, they look, try to look over you. They try to find somebody who's better than you. You know what I mean? They try to look for somebody who's just, who's like, who's new, who's better than him? They try to look at that. Then when you, then when you get back on top, they're like, oh, he always had that. See, as Bron, people always try to look over Bron. Try to find somebody who's better than Bron all the time. Hate on Brian, disrespect Brian. That's what they doing. They disrespecting me at this point. If they hate him, they'll hate anybody. Oh, for sure. At this point, you just becoming a fan. But man, I definitely, definitely appreciate you getting on here, man. Thank you. And we'll end this off with the with the future drop as a <laughs> sensational. <laughs> you already know how it is, man. You. You stay blessed, man. Keep grinding. Keep working, man. We're going to keep in touch, man. I definitely appreciate you, man, once again. And I always remember, man, you got fans all across the world. There's some haters, too, but it's definitely some Kyrie Walker fans, man. So keep grinding, man. I appreciate you. A lot of people across the world love me, man. I appreciate them more than anything because they keep me going. They, you know what I mean? They really they show real true love, and I appreciate y'all, man, for real. All right, man. You be safe out there, man. Be on that, just stay on the Twitch. Keep going to the gym. Getting on Twitch, man. Stay safe. There's a lot of crazy shit going on out here, and you know that. Man, I know that, man. I'm just going to stay safe, man. You see where I'm at, man. Back in the house and the work out. All right, for sure. All right, man. We'll catch up for sure, man. I appreciate you again once again. All right. Yep.